Good morning. I am Stacy Polozola, Career and Tech Supervisor for Livingston Parish. And I'm Jody Purvis, the High School Instructional Supervisor for Livingston Parish Public Schools. We're going to take you on a journey of the career and technical education opportunities that are available to the students of Livingston Parish. Okay, we're here in one of our patient care, uh, the patient care program in Livingston Parish. Uh, and here is where students will uh, learn about and earn a patient care credential. And we also have the instructor, will let her say a few words. So one of the things you'll see is Ms. Polozola getting her blood pressure checked. And as you know, if you're one of those veteran, really experienced educators, keeping a watch on your blood pressure is very important. Um, so in the patient care technician course, the students get um, a great basic foundation for the medical field. So it'll kind of help them to decide if it's something that they want to further or um, and, you know, further their education or if it's something that they just absolutely do not want to do. So in this course, um, they have the opportunity to participate in an internship in the spring semester where they go to hospitals and doctor's offices to gain real life experience and responsibility of being in the real world. And um, at the end of the semester um, in April, they take um, the patient care technician certification and um, so once they pass the exam, um, they take it through the NHA. So this is the computer service technology class at the Literacy and Technology Center in Walker. Uh, Mr. John Hutchison is the instructor. Students here have the opportunity to earn credentials in things like A+, uh, Adobe. So I'm gonna let him explain what Mr. Purvis is experiencing right now. So this is Richie's Plank Simulator. And um, basically, this is a computer that our students built in virtual reality. Um, they All the parts and pieces to the computer, the students put together. They installed the operating system, configured it. And right now, Mr. Purvis, uh, his job is to walk to the end of the plank and take a piece of cake off the end. Now, it actually looks to him like he's there, like he's really high up in the air. So it may be a little bit more difficult than you would think it would be. But uh, the purpose of this class is to teach students how to build computers, fix computers, design websites, and like I said, our students built these computers uh, themselves. One of the favorite career and tech courses offered in our district is criminal justice course. We are here today with the instructor, uh, Ms. Kelly Jennings, to give us some insight as to the opportunities that students have when they take your class. Great, so the students are able to get college credit. They also are credentialed in uh, emergency dispatch because there's, we run the full gamut here. We'll teach you how to shoot, but we'll also teach you how to uh, respond through emergency communication. What we're showing you here is a portion of the post course where the students learn to not only take the gun out of the holster, which is actually more difficult than it looks, but also to get sight picture and to hit a target within a certain amount of time. So today we're in one of our carpentry uh, shops where NCCER Level 1 and Level 2 students have been busy, busy, busy. Uh, this building is um, just a, a regular day for them. It incorporates all the skills needed uh, for the students to obtain their uh, credential and certification. Angel, tell us the benefit of a student going through the ProStart curriculum. Well, with ProStar, it gives them many opportunities to work within food service. So they would leave with both a certification in ProStar as well as they could become ServeSafe certified. If they choose to go to culinary school, that would actually help to cover some of their classes that they're already going to be needing to take. Um, or they could work directly into the food service as an entry level. Brandy, can you tell us a little bit about the opportunities that the kids have here? Well, when they come to me, they are already certified nursing assistants. Oh, no. So, um, look at the big baby. Pay attention. Look, ah, look. What a champ. And um, in our class, we learn phlebotomy and EKG. And so, when the students graduate in May, they'll be certified phlebotomy techs and certified EKG techs. We're fortunate here in the district to have a student ran bank uh, directly on one of our school sites and possibly on some other school sites. This site is actually sponsored by Neighbors Federal Credit Union, and this is where students can do all of their banking and learn customer service skills as well as financial literacy. So we made a stop at one of the high school's uh, digital graphics mm -hmm. shop. And entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Customer service. Customer service. And 
we teach the kids um, how to take a design from uh, paper from all the way to end product to the t-shirt and they have to deal with the customers and deliver and make sure quality control they have to learn how to work with each other It's equally important, even though this isn't a career in tech course, the importance of marrying our school programs with our business partners in the community. And that's what the school did to offer uh, ballet and hip hop lessons for the students here.